was running away from a family enemy. After he had captured your whole family, you are the only survivor. You will keep looking back, seeing if anyone was chasing you. You saw two men were after you, but they were quite far. You take turn to the other side, and before you can look back, in front, a car get crashed with you, which make you fall unconscious. You wake up and find yourself in hospital, one of the VIP ward. Your body was hurting like hell. A nurse enters inside the cabin and say, Nurse, oh, you're finally awake. You was unconscious since two days. Why and what? By the way, who bring me here? Nurse, oh, Mr. Kim bring you here. You think to yourself, where is Mr. Kim mean? Why? Would he save you when he wants your family to die? You shrug the thought off, thinking that it might be his plan to get you from bed. Nurse, oh, you are still not fit. Please keep playing. Why? Ah, uh, no, I have to go somewhere and urgent. Please don't tell that. Mr. Kim that I left. That nurse smile and nod. Then he peek outside and see two guards were there. You said, Nurse, to bring your clothes. Then you looked down from the window, which was fortunately not in too high. Then you jumped down and ran away. Why in POV? I come running on bus station. I start breathing heavily. Then I sit on sea. I should find a place to hide. If they find me, don't know. What they might well do, I have to find my parents too. A week passed like this. I had bought an apartment on rent from the money I had left in my account. I was having coffee. Suddenly, so few men in blacks come there. I become nervous knowing they are Mr. Kim Mans. I behave like I don't know them. I have to do something. I can't get caught by them. Suddenly, so an idea flashed in my mind. After my accident, my injuries were too much. I can pretend like I have. Memory lost. Suddenly, a tall and handsome man come and sit across me. It was Tim, Mr. Kim's son. He smirked at me and said, Tim, finally find it, doll. I try to keep myself calm as much as I can. Why, I'm sorry, you got the wrong person. I don't know you. I get up and start going. Did you grab my hand, making me guess? Tim, babe, it's me, the fiancé. My eyes widen at his first. I think he already has believed that I lost my memory, that's why he is coming with this fancy shit. I have to play along in order not to get caught. Why, do you think if a random guy come to me and tell me that he is my fancy, I will believe him? Damn, oh, so you want a proof? I nod confidently, but then he smiled, making me nervous again. Then he scroll in his phone and show me his and mine picture together. It was fake picture. As I had met him for first time today, I guess he come with whole planning. Why? I still don't believe you, and these fake photos are normal nowadays. Taeyong, oh dear, please believe me. We both were going for wedding shopping, but you ended up getting an accident. He said in sad tone, which made me look at him. In disbelief, as how can a person lie this much? Taeyong, I really love you a lot. Please try to remember. How will I live without you? He said while shaking me, I realized that if I keep pretending and go with him, I might get to know where my parents are. Why, I'm not able to remember, I'm sorry. Jim would find, but please at least come along with me at my mansion. Why, uh, alright, if you are insisting this much. Your mama which make him smile. He got up and tightly hugged you, which make you shock, and he left with you. You are a Jayong Villa, you kept seeing the end of him. You turn and see he was standing so close to you. He quickly moved back, but because of losing balance, he was about to fall, but he catch you by your waist, making your eyes wide. You slightly push him and stand properly. He just smiled, making you fluster. Fine, ma- may I know where is my room? Damn, sure thing, I'm gonna show you that. You know, then he asked you to come ahead. Damn, I'm not gonna wait for you to remember. I'm gonna take advantage of that. He whispered to himself. You turned, thinking he was saying something to you. Why, did you say something? Tim, no darling, just keep going. I want you to rest properly before our marriage. He said trying to hold your hand, but you pushed him away. Why, please do not touch me. I don't like getting touched. Tim, oh, sorry, I respect it. He opened the luxury door, revealing a huge bedroom, making your eyes brighten. Damn, I'm sorry. I couldn't make it more better. Why? It's too pretty. These words come out from my mouth, but you quickly regain yourself, as he is still your enemy, and you can't be soft with him. Damn, go and rest. 
few later. When you see them from your room, you take deep breath as finally you are alone. When I didn't know I was this good at acting, whatever, I have to search for my parents now. Whole day, you make plan to find every corner of this villa to find your parents. You start praying for their well-being. Suddenly, Tim comes inside the room. Tim, dear, it's not time. Come down. Fine. Uh, okay, I will be there in bed. And may I ask if I can take tour of this pretty house? Tim raises his eyebrows, but then he smiles. I know, which makes you relieved. Tim left from there, closing the door. Fine. What kind of stupid mafia he is. He know that I'm his enemy daughter. Still, he's believing me. Like I'm really his fancy. You say in disbelief, and while opening the door, your view went toward your finger. You saw there was a ring in your finger. You gasp and you flash back. Come in front of you. When he grabbed your hand, he put that ring in your finger. You are totally confused. Why? Why does Tim bring this nice to me? Is it all his plan? What if you already know that I am pretending? No, it can't be. If he had knew it, he would never allow me to roam around. I should begin my plan now. You and Tim are both having dinner. He has smiled and served food for you and himself. Tim, darling, eat more. You are quite slim. Then before I want you to get chubby. He says and start feeding you with his hand, but you stop him. Why? I can eat it myself. And please don't be just lovey dovey with me. I am not used of it. He nods and eats his food. Tim, one more thing. Don't go out without any bodyguard, okay? Why? And why is that? Enemies might will attack you. That's why you raise your eyebrow. As who else is enemy other than your family? You continue to eat your food while staring at Tim. Tim, if you keep staring at me with those big eyes of yours, I will get burned. He chuckles and you quickly look away. After dinner, now you are roaming around trying to find traces of your parents. Time passed like this. You nearly had look around in whole villa, but then your view went toward a door which you still hadn't opened. You gulp and stretch your hand to open it, but Tim come there and grab your hand. Tim, darling, what are you doing here? Why, I was just just curious. What is inside this room? Tim, you can't go inside, okay? Promise me, you won't go in there. Why, uh, okay, I promise, I won't go in. He take you away from there. In midnight, you come to that place again and see there was lock on that door. And from this, you get confirmed that something is behind this door. You take out a burn pin and open the door. You come inside and saw there was nothing. You front thinking, then why he was stopping you from coming inside then? Suddenly you hear shoes sound. You quickly run out and close the door. You quickly start walking but end up getting caught by someone. You feel a tight grip on your wrist, your eyes widen, and within a blink, you was pinned against wall. It was Tim who do that. Tim, why not you? What are you doing here? Why, uh, I have habit to sleep walking. Tim, what? That's dangerous. Go back to your room. I don't want you to get hit by something.